Hello and good afternoon. This is Mr. Kiggins. I hope all of you are staying safe and staying healthy and having a good break from school. And I'm excited that I've already received some emails about getting work done and still wanting to continue the learning. So this is a video about our day four activity for the Renaissance. So this is the beginning of the slide and this is the beginning of what the worksheet is, look, looks like. So we're going to start off here with the investigation question. What were the advancements of the Renaissance and what inspired them? So to fill that out, right, we have slide. So there are many important people from the Renaissance. One of the most important people is Leonardo da Vinci. But why was da Vinci important? Right, so we're going to be talking a lot about Leonardo da Vinci today. And at any point, feel free to pause the video to write down um, or write down any questions if you need to ask me anything. And we're going to continue on. So we're going to be looking at this part of the worksheet, right? We have the one through six number down uh, to see what we can learn about Da Vinci from his work. So thinking about how you would describe who Da Vinci was. So the first picture we're going to look at is this picture. So you're going to be writing down for number one, what do you see and what do you think about this picture? Again, as I go along, if you need to pause at any time to keep continue writing, feel free to pause. This is for picture number two. What do you see? What do you think? Picture number three, what do you see? What do you think? Picture number four, what do you see? What do you think? Picture number five, what do you see? What do you think? And last picture. Number six, what do you see and what do you think? Okay, so for the next part, Leonardo da Vinci, to fill in these blanks, we're going to be looking at this slide. So filling in the blanks, Leonardo da Vinci, right, a Renaissance man is someone who is very good at many different things. The phrase Renaissance man comes from the Renaissance era because many people were learning new things during that time. The Renaissance was focused on human potential. Some historians think that da Vinci is a Renaissance man because he was an artist, scientist, and an inventor. All right, so remember, Renaissance. Renaissance is the French word meaning rebirth, right? And so people during the Renaissance were learning many new things. We were coming out of the Dark Ages, right? The Medieval Ages, where people didn't learn very much. They didn't know very much. And so people were learning many new things at this time. And we were focusing on human potential. That means people were trying to be the best they could be by learning as many things as they could. So da Vinci, right, learned as many things as he could. He was learning about art. Right. He was drawing, he was painting, he was a scientist, and he was inventing things. So do you think da Vinci deserves the name Renaissance Man? All right. In your opinion, was Leonardo da Vinci a Renaissance Man? So there's one, two, three, four, five right here, and we're going to be looking through some pictures to help you determine what you would answer to these. So, to begin, right, we're going to be looking at different pictures of some other things that Leonardo da Vinci did. A scientist. So we can see that he drew, right, the womb, the fetus in the womb, different parts of the human body, right, different muscles. We can see how he drew out the different muscles, how people look really detailed about the muscles. 
our skeletal system, right? So the ribs, the spine, the arm. Here's a skull. All right, so in your opinion, was Leonardo da Vinci a Renaissance man? Again, looking at these questions, right? Because it's all going to be based off of all of these pictures, if you think he was or not. Leonardo da Vinci was also known as an artist, right? Do we recognize this picture? This picture is called the Mona Lisa. Do you remember this picture from a couple of weeks ago? I had it in the classroom. And how many people recognize this picture? I know some students said that they'd seen this picture in their house before, right? So called the Last Supper. Some people are calling it the Last Dinner. We have Jesus here in the middle, right? And it was called the Last Supper because this was the last time he ate with his apostles before he was crucified. Another picture that Leonardo drew, right? We just saw this painting. So if you can see in the middle of this picture, this is the Mona Lisa, right? And so this is in a museum called the Louvre, which is in Paris, France. And it looks like a big pyramid. Okay. Leonardo is an inventor, right? Different inventions he made. You can see this, looks almost kind of like a helicopter. Another invention that he had, a parachute and a flying machine, right? Kind of like an airplane. And so whilst Leonardo is credited as an inventor for these machines, he did not actually make any. These were only drawings that he did. Okay, so now you're going to check off, yes or no. In your opinion, Da Vinci created concepts for flying machines, solar power, and a calculator. Da Vinci was an expert painter the Mona Lisa is the most famous painting in the world. Da Vinci invented the idea for the machine gun, parachute, and helicopter. Da Vinci wanted to learn more about the human body, so he dissected cadavers. Right, so cadaver is a dead body, and dissected means he was cutting it open and was looking at it. And he drew what he learned in his notebooks. So if you remember, if you look at the picture with the muscles, that's how he drew, was able to draw out those muscles was because he cut the bodies open and was looking at them. All right, so next, Leonardo da Vinci, a Renaissance man. Do you think Leonardo da Vinci was a Renaissance man? Write a claim below with your opinion. Right, so we should be looking right here. Right, so you're gonna be saying, in my opinion, Leonardo da Vinci was a Renaissance man, or you say no, right? You're going to say Leonardo da Vinci was not a Renaissance. Okay, so you decide. If you think he was, you're going to write was. If you're saying he was not, you're going to say he was not. Second, using evidence from the pictures or your notes to support your opinion. So all these pictures we were looking at, right, all these pictures, we can look back at them. And this is to say that Da Vinci was a Renaissance man or was not. What of these makes you think he was? What of these make you think he was not? And you should be able to remember your notes that you should have wrote in one, two, three, four, five, six. You can use those notes for that. And last, explain how your evidence supports your claim. This demonstrates that Da Vinci was, or sorry, Da Vinci does deserve the name Renaissance man, or Da Vinci does not. So you decide if he does or if he does not. Yes. And then you're going to say why. Okay, 
And then for the ending, right, you're going to complete your own Da Vinci drawing. So these are some more sketches that Da Vinci did. So on the last page, right here, completing your own Da Vinci drawing. This is where you can do your own drawing of a person, a scene, which is like a place or something happening, or maybe an invention of your own. So you can create your own picture and draw your own picture here. Or if you're not exactly sure what you want to do, you can look back at some of the pictures that Da Vinci did and draw a picture like that. Okay. And then the last thing is if you're working on your do now, the exit ticket is here. And so that is all for day four and our Renaissance activity. If you have any questions, you can feel free to email me or text me or give me a call. I will have my email and phone number for text or call in the information below. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day, great, great rest of your week, and stay safe, stay healthy. This is Mr.